Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Golden Score, day two of competition at this year's uh, Tokyo Grand Slam. And it's a big hello to Thea Cowan. Hi, hello, Thea. hello, Sheldon. How are you doing? <laughs> that Great. was a long I mean, final we, we, block, wasn't it? It was, but we had plenty of action and it was a really enjoyable one. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to invite our first guest in because we know he's I been waiting a long time. He has. Who have we got? We've got Michael Carell of the Netherlands, who took a bronze medal here today in the Tokyo Grand Slam 2023. Okay, let's have him in the middle. Come in then, big fella. <laughs> thanks very much for taking the time to join us again. And thanks for the wait, because it's a long wait, wasn't it? <laughs> it was a long wait. I normally not, uh, don't fight the first fight in the final block, mm. but uh, I'm here, I'm here. So Yeah, plenty of time to chill, relax. How are you feeling about this bronze medal today? Yeah. First of all, I finally made it to the golden score. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, here with you guys. <laughs> which, is, which is the bigger achievement? Is it making golden score or getting the medal? What do you I'll, think? Leave, I'll leave it in the middle. I'll leave <laughs> it in the middle. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy with the with the bronze medal today. Uh, had a great start of the year. Uh, had some bumps in the road uh, during the year, and now finishing off with a bronze medal here in Tokyo is uh, yeah special. Yeah. Uh, John, tell us a little bit about your bronze medal contest. Uh, you just seemed the one who was more dominant, more active, and obviously your opponent was sort of waiting and waiting for that counter. Could do you feel the danger there? Yeah, so I always uh, try to be active and yeah, make a lot of attacks to keep the yeah the, re the referee on my side mm. and like also creating opportunities <laughs> for for yeah for a big throw in the, like in the beginning of the match. But I'm also aware that the, the top guys you're not gonna throw like the first maybe one or two minutes. It's possible, but not with my style. Uh, so yeah, just keep working, and sometimes it uh, yeah you have to keep working till the goal is score, and sometimes a bit <laughs> deeper like the bronze match. But I'm always believing yeah. that there is an opportunity for me. It was particularly hard work with that opponent because, as Thea was saying, he was just waiting. He seemed to be waiting for you to do something all, all, all the time, and then eventually he, he started getting the penalties. And then when he opened up, you were able to um, take it over. What's your thoughts at that moment <laughs> when you're out there? How long is this going to take? <laughs> no, I just, I, no I just, I'm just not aware of time anymore. I had it a couple times. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just not aware of the time. I'm just keep going, like don't quit. And eventually, like what you see here, there's an opportunity. And uh, it's if you're deep in a goal to score, I think it's about who's going to make the mistake of who's like, yeah. Yeah. it's just who's getting, uh, hanging on the longest. Yeah. Very minor. Nice finish, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and not a bad way to end the year. No, looks a bit like the one in Paris. <laughs> he stood more straight up. Michael, this the last event of of, of the year. What's, what's next for you? You've got anything with the clubs? Are you doing any club competitions, no. or is that it now? No. So for me, the year is over now. It's time to uh, to recover, to chill out, a uh, little holiday with my uh, with my wife. Lovely. And um, where are you off to? I'm going to London actually. She she loves London. Christmas. Yeah, she loves Christmas. Oh, we hate to tell you this. It's going to be miserable weather. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I know. But she, hope the lights are going to cheer her. She loves Christmas, so uh, there are, I hear there's a lot of uh, lies and yeah, yeah. you'll be, be spoiled for choice on that. Yeah, 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 definitely. It may not snow, but you know. Ah, well, I'll tell you what, it will rain. <laughs> Definitely, but we'll have a great time. We'll a great great, time. Congratulations, Michael. Nice. Thanks very Thank much for much. joining us on Golden Score. I'm Thanks glad you could make it in the middle. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Take care. Right. We've not it's had nice. a Golden Score before. Yeah, when he, it's nice when he says, hey, I can't, I've, I've, I've been waiting for so wait long to come out. Yeah. Great. Well, let's yeah. um, bring in the next guest. Thea. Next, we have Lukas Kropalik of the Czech Republic for the bronze medal here. And, and the plus 100 kilogram, I should mention. Fella. Congratulations, <laughs> I know. Look, <Lukash>, nice <laughs> to see you out here again. Nice to see we you have out. to make a point of saying that this is in the plus 100 kilogram category because it could be under or over for you, depending on which competition it is. So, why are you in the overs this week? Why? Uh, I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> after, after, after Masters, I say that mm -hmm. I will continue in this year in the heavyweight, and maybe in uh, next year I will continue in yeah. the 100 kilo because. Uh, in Masters, it was really difficult for me yeah. because I lost many kilo and and uh, it was not 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 good. And after this competition, I say now I won't continue in heavyweight. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> when I will have um, uh, already qualification to Olympic, mm -hmm. then I can you, continue. You can think about it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because that was our biggest question, rather than 
um, today because we, we were also thinking about you would have liked to have fought Saito for sure. Is, is that right? You would have liked to have fought him. 50-50. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not so sure. Well, well, that sorted that one out, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, no. <laughs> And how did but you feel in general about your performance today? It was a bit sad we didn't get to have that final contest. I, but I, I feel I feel very good. Yeah. Yes. Today was, I think, my day, and I feel really good uh, from from the first round to 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 the end. But uh, normally, uh, before competition, I say that I don't want to uh, fight in this competition, but uh, after <laughs> after uh, Grand Slam in mm -hmm. Abu Dhabi and after a European Championship in Montpellier, I say, no, I must, I must uh, continue to, to Tokyo and... Uh, now, I made the here. mistake yesterday yeah. of assuming that Matthias Kass had fought in the final four last week, but I know that you did because I saw the video of the cup smashing on the ground. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you this one later. So, did you have a little bit of preparation? Was it quite just a nice relaxing tournament for you last week just to enjoy with the team before coming here to Tokyo? So, sorry, one more. <laughs> a bit slower. He's already sleeping. I know. Uh, so last week you competed yeah, in the yeah, Bundesliga yes, in the final yes, four. Yes, was yes. it quite an enjoyable competition, a nice way to enjoy with the team before yeah, Tokyo? Yes, uh, this is, I really like it because mm -hmm. uh, is it some different competition and uh, when I can uh, fight in, uh, for example, <laughs> Bundesliga in uh, yeah. Austria, mm -hmm. it's, it's really nice and I'm really happy to be part of the clubs and uh, fight for, for the title and yeah. it's really nice, but this is This more is the important, important one, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, and now it's a rest for you, we will see you in Mittersell, I'm assuming. Yes, yeah. now I will have a holiday, now, mm -hmm. uh, a little rest and... Uh, and uh, in January, I will you're continue. You're not Mitter going to London, are you, for your holiday? Oh. Sorry? You're not Mr. going to London for your holiday, are you? Mm, because no. Michael Cole's Michael going to London. To London. London. Yes. It's going to rain. You know, <laughs> what are you going there for? <laughs> no, London. In, in Czech Republic, just in Czech Republic. Oh, okay, but okay. Right. You'll have the weather for it. Yeah. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank and, you very uh, much. Have a good end to the year. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. See you soon. Yeah. Right. Okay. Nice end to the year for yeah. the big fella. And it does make we sense got, that you wanted to come and compete here. Yeah. We? We, we do, yes. More? I think yeah. they just managed to go grab her for me. Uh, we have Julia Figueroa of Spain, who took the silver medal today in the under 48 kilogram category. It is an absolute pleasure to have her on Golden Hello. Score. Yeah. Hello, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Come, Thank come, you. come. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you all right? <laughs> we can see you're still very emotional after that final, which wasn't too long ago. But you were very emotional after your semi-final win. Yes. I know it's very important for you to be taking this medal here today. So can you tell us a bit about that? Yes, um, I, t this, this year is, is, is very hard for me. Mm -hmm. First, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you can take your time. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard for me. Um, now it's uh, very happy for the competition. Mm -hmm. I, I need to win, but I, I feel good another time in the tatami and I... Okay, okay. We're, we're going to give you something we'll, we'll to make you feel really good. <laughs> Take a look up, up here. You're going to see your semi-final. That'll make you happy. <laughs> nice finish. Now, you did have some big wins. In fact, a big win before this against Blandine Pont as well from France. She's been very successful throughout the year. Um, so two in a row before to get you into the final. How are you feeling this morning? Did you feel very strong? Was your preparation good? Yes, I uh, I feel good. Um, another time in September, I uh, I feel better. Yeah. Um, but then on the competition, mis little mistake. And now I feel very very good. Very Julia, very this strong. Is one of the biggest competitions yeah. on the world stage. If you don't show some emotion, people will be surprised. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a good thing. Yes, yes, <laughs> good thing. I think great. these tears are like of, of joy, but of relief as well. Like you said, it's been a very tough year for you. It's been surgeries, you've got national concurrences. It's one thing after another. Now to stand on the podium and the final of the Tokyo Grand Slam at the end of the year, it's, it was a pleasure for us to see and quite, Quite a nice moment for me, especially, I'd say. In the beginning of the year, you would choose, if you could tick the things and say, yes. I want a medal at the Grand Slam in Tokyo, you would choose that, yeah? Yeah. yeah okay. It's, uh, it's <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. you, you begin yes. to feel yes. better now. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> uh, Tokyo Grand Slam is uh, 
is a big 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 yeah. uh, competition I, I like to to match uh, I always is a pressure uh, take a medal in the in this place good for you we're pleased for you congratulations yeah. Thank you. next congratulations. competition for you I don't know going to take a, a rest. That's it. Uh, everyone said about a holiday. Please yes. tell me you're getting somewhere nice for your holiday. No, I, I go to my home. No, I go to my home now, so of Spain with my family. Oh, lovely. Yes. Right, Julia Figaro, silver medal winner at the um, Tokyo Grand Slam. Happy days, yeah? Yes. Well, thank okay, you very much for very joining much. us. Go and enjoy okay. that silver medal. <laughs> Whoop, sorry. <laughs> right, we've got one more item. On yes, to do. Our, um, <laughs> And our Not last edition my this year uh, of Golden yes, Score. We have Annette Burm's going to come out and join us, and she's going to tell us what it is. Hello, hello. Hey. So what is our technical analysis thing right. for us to do? And now it's time for <gasps> technical analysis. <laughs> yes. So it's a pleasure for me to be here in the middle. Right. <laughs> in the middle of you. Right. What have you got for us? So I got maybe something different, just my expression or impressions mm. uh, from today, because today was really a crazy day. We saw a strong dominance of the of the Japanese mm -hmm. fighters. So really a strong dominance and great throws. And I saw some heroes. Um, even if they lost, that they lost, the fact that they lost, they were so still so great. Just to to speak about. Um, uh, Takato, for example, he was made his way until the final. One fight he lay bad even, and in the final he lost, but still he was so great and with the biggest uh, of respect yes. to, to his teammate. That's one thing I pointed out. The other thing, I saw some really experienced fighters like Myra Agia. Mm -hmm. So she showed the younger ones, uh, even in the final, the world champion. Uh, from Israel, their limits. She was still. She is still so strong. And you know, you you see her on the list, and you you may you think she's she's again and still there, and she she delivers. So she shows her her, her skills. You were talking about the Japanese having had a good day uh, today, which is quite true. And there was a a, a, a particular fight with junior world champion Arai mm -hmm. and the current senior uh, world champion Adamian. Do you remember that one? Yes. We might be able to have a look at that. Oh, <laughs> please do. Right, 18 year old, this Japanese. That is just incredible. Yes, with 18 years, he is here. So almost catches him here. Yes, yeah. trying to turn him and, yep. Yeah. Because Adamian is known for just being this brute is the, strength. The other he? angle now. Absolutely. Yeah. Before we have seen him from beautiful Shimata. Mm -hmm. And let's have a look here. Yeah. Here now we it's go. Arai's uh, turn to attack. Mm, yeah. It but he is. puts himself Absolutely. in some he problems and he always gets caught he did. in the ground again. He, yes, he did. It was Absolutely. a very interesting contest, this one, actually. But in the end, of course, the 18 year old Japanese yeah. superhero, as yeah. we will call him. Look them. how he solved it on the ground. He kept yeah. control. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was impressed. Uh, that was one fighter I was really impressed today in oh, the under 100. Yeah, it. outside, so strong. And he, he just didn't stop. And that was also the key, you know, normally when you come onto the tatami, just with 18 years, uh, sometimes mm. you're still collecting some, some experience, yeah. but he came on it and he, he didn't care who was <laughs> uh, he fighting against. So he just, yeah, was really consistent when he went into. I'm not sure Absolutely. why it was that um, Adamian thought that this wasn't <laughs> worth it <upon. laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe so because he got his hand down, no. but to be honest. <laughs> if he watches that one, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was that was definitely one highlight. Another highlight, um, men's heavyweight. I'm really, I have to say, now I'm a fan from Kim, the Korean. Mm -hmm. Although he lost his final, um, he showed a brilliant judo. He, he got brilliant judo skills. He was very quick. He got a good feeling for the situation. He won against uh, Tasoyev, uh, the number one seed here. In the final, he lost to Bashayev, but still, this is somebody really um, I marked on the paper, and uh, I'm a big, big fan of him. Yeah. It was a wonderful final, that plus 100 kilogram one, wasn't it? The, it the was all the fights today yeah. were so attractive. So attractive, yes. Now, it, it's not often that we see that technique Mm -hmm. uh, at this kind of level. Not, on, uh, not only did, did we see the technique, it actually went for a pond, and there was no question about it, it was beautifully done. Sumio Toshi, yeah. I wonder if we've got that uh, okay. as part of our Bashaev watch. Now, of course, we had Neil next to us, and he was very excited about this, wasn't he? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's Look that's Kim. At that. Yeah, he just there was so much power in when he attacked mm -hmm. left side with the old Shigari. So that he yeah he didn't throw himself because it was Bashayev. He, he just turned him. So that was really extra class. He, he did not need to to take his his legs. He just used used both arms and uh, brought him onto the ground. Turned him. Yeah. Yeah, momentum Great. from Kim. Mm -hmm. Nice turn with the hands, as you say, yeah. Yeah. from uh, Bashayev. Good finish. Yeah, it right. was. Right. Okay. That is, is going to be a, a wrap up for us uh -huh. on our Golden Score, our last edition of Golden Score this year. We look forward to yeah. your company on the IHF World Tour when we come back in the new year mm -hmm. from Neil Adams, whose throat has gone, <laughs> so we didn't have him with us, Thea Cowan, Annette Byrne, myself, and all the broadcast team here in uh, Tokyo. It's bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.